Hello. Okay, let's see if things are working. Microphone is on, playlist is on. Let me know if it's too loud or I need to turn it up. Um, Just going to share the link in a few places. God, my desk is messy. <laughs> everyone. Hi, Anik. Hi, Natasha. Hi, Chris. Just sharing the link on Instagram as well. Oh, it's always, it's always a bit of a struggle getting the link from the laptop to my phone. <laughs> eh, I feel like there is an easier way for that. Mm. Should be in my drafts now. Uh, nothing in drafts. That's weird. Oh, it's called different link. Okay. Sorry, I'm just talking to myself. Uh, copy. How's everyone doing? Uh, hi, Miranda. Just a quick hello. Tuesday's an office day. I'm going to watch tonight. Okay. Thank you so much for popping in. <laughs> okay. Oh, again. My desk is so messy. Still got my sock project here that I showed you last week. Haven't touched since. <laughs> Wait, is the webcam crooked? I think it is. That's better. That's good enough. Okay. Some more admin y things. Uh, Anik is uh, knitting today and my olive cardigan v-neck. Ooh, nice. I haven't heard of that. Is that from knitting? Knitting by olive? Olive cardigan v-neck. I think it is knitting for olive. Oh, that's gorgeous. 
Oh, that's really pretty. It has a kind of leaf pattern. Uh, and it seems to be... What is that? It's not lace. Or is it? It seems to be just increases and decreases. Uh, twisted stitches. Oh, where am I? <laughs> there we are. Um, uh, Miranda started... Oh, she started two socks at once. Yeah, yeah. But I stopped and started again with just one sock. Yeah. <laughs> I love uh, just knitting one sock at a time, too. <laughs> All right, uh, see you later, Miranda. Uh, have a good day at work today. Uh, Chris is knitting a test knit by Natalie, by Night Creations. This is what I with cables. Ooh, um, by Night Creations. Let's see if I can find her. Natalie Denise. Oh, she has beautiful lace shawls, too. Ooh, nice. I love it when you show me um, designers that I don't know yet. Because that is always so exciting. Can you hear me good enough? Because my microphone is in a, is in a different spot. Um, it's a lace pattern. Oh, the, the cardigan, yeah. Um, Natasha is crocheting away on a granny square baby blanket. Oh yeah, with uh, with the yarns that you ordered for the to finish the diagonal ones. Uh, just one or just one or two more rows to do before I run out of yarn. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it's nice to completely finish a blanket. And I just saw a thirsty plant. I brought a banana plant with me from the Netherlands. Oh, remember I had a huge banana plant back in my old craft room. And uh, it could not come with me because it had some beasties. <laughs> uh, yeah, it had some bugs on there. And if UK Customs would um, it's in a gem journal uh but but if, sorry i'm totally getting distracted uh but if uk customs would have checked our car when we moved then uh you know i would have um needed to show that all plants i'm taking were free of pests so the banana plant was not coming so i uh gave it to my mom who take great care of it uh who took great care of it but the plant kind of died anyway <laughs> But uh, the plant just, I don't know, with banana plants, they, they give a lot of plant babies. And this is one of them, uh, which was also on the brink of death. Uh, everything had turned black. But then I peeled it back. Um, because with a banana plant, you can kind of just like feel the stem and you know if it's really dead it, it'll be like you know nothing uh, you can just press it to crumbs but I felt that there was still a firm stem in there so I peeled back the black leaves and now it has sprouted two more leaves so so it's doing great <laughs> Um, Chris also tested a cardigan pattern by uh, Natalie. Um, the same pattern. Oh, oh, uh, okay, so now you're knitting a sweater and the cardigan was the same pattern. Oh, she's Belgian. Dice wool with natural dye. Oh, that sounds great. Okay, I must check her out. Yeah, I'll, how can I save this? I'll just, I'll just leave the tab open. Um, oops. There. <laughs> yeah. So today, I'll be working on the uh, border. <laughs> 
for the blanket. Uh, I have not really, um, I have chosen a color, but I'm not feeling super confident in it, but I'm just gonna, just gonna do it because I feel like I should just get it over with, you know, the, the color choice, I mean. Um, if you're wondering what sweater I'm wearing, you'll probably have seen it before. It's my pink sweater. That's also the pattern's name. It's my, it was my second ever sweater pattern. It's very easy. It is bottom up, so it does not sound easy, but it is drop shoulder. So bottom up, um, so you just knit two squares. It's a free pattern. And then you knit the sleeves um, already attached to the body, I think. Yeah. Um, and it's, yeah, it's quite easy to do. And um, I still wear it after, I think it is, I think I knit it in 2019. So yeah, five years. Um, I have the finished sample thing here. I've now finished the um, the border on that. Wait, let me let me just move my screen around. There. And I really like how it turned out. Um, last week I was knitting this, and. You know, I was testing out, oh, do I skip a stitch every two rows, every every three rows, every four rows. And uh, for the sides, for the, yeah, I'm looking at the blanket as it has a top and bottom, and I'm with the sides, I now mean just the left and right. For the sides, uh, I uh, skip every second row. So I pick up one stitch, skip one stitch. For the top and bottom, uh, I tried two different ratios. I did pick up two stitches, skip one, and I did pick up three stitches, skip one. And they both seem to work, which is confusing to me. So let's see if I got this right. There, it won't, it'll be easier to show now. So here I did knit three, skip one. So for the, for this edge, for this edge, here I did knit two, skip one. So this is fewer stitches than this. Um, and before blocking, uh, this part kind of stood up like that. And this part lay flat, but after blocking, it just all lies flat. And the standing up that I had here, I didn't have here, which has the same ratio. So I'm not sure what it means. <laughs> um, yeah. While I was doing it, I don't know, I think the knit two, skip one felt like it was a better ratio. I don't know. Can we tell? It doesn't seem like it has a difference. 
but I really do want to <laughs> kind of um, I, I want to give this as information in the pattern but I guess giving this information is better than nothing um, yeah I don't know I don't know okay another thing um, for these sides, so the left and right, I did figure out something. Um, and it has to do with which loop you pick up. And I did that differently here uh, from here. And on this side, um, the border was curling inwards like this. Uh, and I really had to block that with pins. And on this side, it laid flat without me having to put in any pins. So I kind of want to do this. But I'm pretty sure that for the tutorial video, I showed this. So yeah, I think I'll have to, uh, I mean, okay, let's see if I can show you this in more detail. I'm going to uh, hold this camera by hand first, so it'll be a little shaky, forgive me for that. Right, is this zoomed in? Yeah, okay. So, on this side, you can see the color of the square, which I think looks nice. But because we're taking that edge, it also wants to follow that curl pattern of the stockinette. So that's side one. On the other side, pick up the stitches differently and I'll, I'll show you that when I actually get to it so you don't you don't see as much of the edge here um, you see it on the opposite side and because of that it doesn't curl as much so yeah so I guess the benefit of this one is that it doesn't curl and you know I do like how this looks I do like the little stripe of color but yeah so <laughs> uh, so that is something to think about probably am going to do a tutorial video to showcase the difference okay let's see if I can set this up It's really not ideal. <laughs> I don't want to have that cable hanging there.
how do I keep this in place? I think this is acceptable. Why is that mirrored? Okay. <laughs> uh. uh. Why is that mirrored? No. Okay, let's see. still mirrored somehow. Yeah, okay. <laughs> God, that was confusing. Um, <laughs> yeah, I usually have it on the other side. Uh, but I have a new, well, not really new, but I have my camera and a new, on a tripod and not fixed to my laptop. And because I have that there, I'm sitting further away from there. And if I put the camera in my usual spot, then it doesn't really work. So I wanted to try something new. So, but I think I have to zoom in a bit more. Okay. Right. So. I'm going to go with this one. <laughs> I'm not feeling super confident in my choice, but because I, I think this would be a really good option. Um, yeah, because my, my reasoning was My reasoning was that this would kind of frame it better than this. See how this kind of feels like it blends in and this kind of would stand out more. Um, but looking at the color, I like this one more and you all liked it more too. So I'm going to go with this one. <laughs> Um, so, now I have to decide which, which of the sides to start on. And before I do that, I want to show you what I mean with the, um, the different way to pick up stitches on the left and on the right. So. Mm. Let's see. This could be a little bit more here. Maybe, okay, okay, yeah, 
hope this is all right to see. So usually, what did I do? Right. What I did on one side was that I picked up stitches. Oh. Okay. Might have to fiddle with the uh, camera placement later. Uh, what I did on one side was that I just insert through the stitch. That's not visible, is it? Was that I insert through the stitch and then pick up a loop like that, right? So I'll just show you a couple times. And that means um, that you have this stripe of color between the border. So this side. Um, and the disadvantage of this is that it curls over and you really have to pay attention to it while blocking. Um, what I did on the other side was instead of going all the way through to pick up a stitch, I would pick up this stitch, uh, kind of like when you do mattress stitch. Um, it's a bit more cumbersome, <laughs> especially now. So I pick up that. So it is a little more difficult. But um, it does mean that the edge lays flat easier. So, so that's the um, the trade-off. Yeah. Uh, having said all that, I think I'll uh, start on one of the other sides first, so I don't have to think about that yet. <laughs> um, so I'll zoom out. Um, wait, maybe I can twist the camera a bit. I've never really used this function on the tripod, but Oh, oh, I know, I know, hang on, hang on, it's going to be mirrored again for a bit, <laughs> do it the other way, because then it's easier to It's not easier. Wish I had something there. <laughs> um, hello, Nifty. Good morning. 
uh, well, it's good afternoon for us. <laughs> um, but we're happy to keep you company. Um, do I? No, okay, this is not working. Let me put it back. I have a new setup today, so it's a bit uh, figuring out. Right. I, okay, the cable is still in view. Uh, oh, here it is. Ah. Okay. Uh, why new setup? Yeah, well... Maybe I just wanted to try, um, but essentially I've got my camera on a tripod instead of on my laptop. Um, and that means that I can't have the second camera in that spot as well because I'm sitting further away from that spot. So that's why. Um, it does mean there is a lot of extra fidgeting today. Um, do you live in Newfoundland? No, I live in Scotland. Um, I am from the Netherlands, but I live in Scotland. So let's start the border for my color work sampler blanket. The yarn is stuck somewhere. <laughs> Please don't give me yarn bar. manageable <gasps> there's a knot okay I'll break it immediately <laughs> okay we'll just start from the knot And I've got my, uh, oh, let's see. I need to move here. Okay, so I've got my small needles that I snipped from one DPN. So this was one sock needle. And I snipped it in half. Um, I sanded the edges and then I put a bead on it. But I do have another option, which is my trusty Chowgu knitting needle of three millimeter, which I also used for the squares. So, um, so yeah, I'm not sure. I think I think I I will like this one though, so I'll just try that. Uh, Nifty lives near the CN Tower in Toronto. Oh, Toronto! That's Canada, right? I'm really not sure. <laughs> um, oh, look at that! One of the needles is shorter than the other. 
I never really measured it, I suppose. Right. I suppose I do need my pattern. Um, patterns. PDF files. Color work. Sampler. Blanket. Oh no, I don't want an AI assistant. For <laughs> Every time I open the PDF, Adobe, you know, it always asks me if I want an assistant. It's like it's like the little paperclip in Word. Like, no, go away. <laughs> uh, the border. Knitted cast on. Right. Okay. With one of your needles, insert through a corner of your blanket. Right. Yeah. This is your first stitch. Oh, I suppose I should have done it that way. Doesn't really matter. Okay. And then we do a knitted cast on. Until we have five stitches. Yeah. Oh, it is Canada, okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure, I was like 99% sure, but I'm always afraid of being wrong. <laughs> um, Oh yeah, so it must be really um, early there. Well, it's it's about one p.m. here. Um, but I do know that daylight savings did it happen like two weeks ago in America, in the Americas, and it's happening in two weeks here. So now, for this short period of time, we have less time difference than we usually have, which is very exciting because. Some of uh, the American or Canadian uh, creators that I follow uh, and, and the ones that have live streams, their live streams usually start at like 11 p.m. here. And I'm like, ah, I'm not going to watch that. Um, but now they start at 10 p.m. here, so I can, I can watch a little bit. So, <laughs> so that's exciting. Uh, let's see, okay. Slip one knitwise. And then knit one. Purl one. Knit one. Wait, sorry, I'm not paying attention if it's in the screen. Oh, I guess it is, okay. Um. Okay. It's nine a.m. <laughs> Lola, I thought you were all up early like me. <laughs> oh, this weekend. Ah. Uh. Right, right. It's it is this weekend, yeah. Oh, so I've only got this week to to watch my uh, YouTubers. <laughs> uh, where was I? Pearl one, knit one. We now have one stitch left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So then we knit that together with a loop. That we pick up. Right. Turn our work. Um, yeah. Let 
there. We've did it. <laughs> We've did it. <laughs> We've done it. The beginning of the end. The border around the blanket. My most intense project so far. And I was wondering how to call this stitch, right? Because in the pattern, I'm saying, um, okay, in the pattern, I'm calling this uh, knit two together because you pick up one stitch here and then you kind of, you make two stitches into one. But now that I'm actually doing it, it all, it actually looks like I'm casting off. Or like, you know, passing a, passing a stitch over. But I'm just gonna hope that everyone who makes the pattern just watches my tutorial video. And then, you know, I've linked it in the pattern, so. <laughs> yeah, might be wishful thinking. Okay, so let's look again at what I have in the pattern. You have one stitch on your left hand needle. Pick up one stitch of edge blanket and knit together with last stitch on needle. With your left hand needle, pick up a stitch the edge of your blanket <gasps> I'm doing it differently with your right hand needle insert into both loops as if to knit oh no I know I know I know I know I know okay 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 hang on Pick up a stitch, yeah, but but I mean just, you know, pick up a stitch, not pick up a loop and then hold that stitch. So we have this. With your right hand needle, insert into both. And knit together as one stitch. Well, that, it's like the same, but explained differently so should I change the wording in the pattern I don't really think so I should maybe mm, I should maybe emphasize that you know because pick up a stitch can mean pick up a stitch and then draw a loop even though I'm not saying that, but I think reading this pattern, I would um, assume that that was it. And when I'm actually making it, I'm transferring the stitch, the last stitch to my right hand needle. I'm pulling up a loop and then basically slipping that stitch over. Yeah, I should rewrite the pattern for this bit. Even though technically it's correct. Yeah, I feel like I should write it the, the way I'm doing it. I should probably first check the tutorial video I made though. <laughs> oh goodness.
you know being a knitwear designer is you know i mean writing the pattern is always a balance of it's a balance of wanting people to have all the information and not wanting to overload people with information because that can lead to people thinking nope not doing this uh this is too complicated too confusing i'm out obviously you don't want that Um, so, if you're joining me today and you haven't mentioned it yet, please do share, if you feel like it, what project you're working on and or maybe the project you're excited about working on next. It's almost the end of the month. Which is weird because it feels like I just made my March page in my knitting notebook. Which is here. So I'm working on the color exemplar blanket right now. I finished this baby blanket, but I still need to weave in the end, so I'm not going to mark it as finished. I'll do that uh, today or tomorrow. <gasps> the machine knit V-neck sweater! I totally completed that. I've already worn it a couple times. Where's my pen? Beep, 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 beep. Done. And then a little star, a little wonky star. Um, yeah. Did I cast on a new thing? Oh, this baby blanket. Arcadia socks. Did I cast on a new thing? I didn't. Right? I don't think I did. Okay, good. Natasha says, this is why I love knitting. There are so many different things, ways of doing a thing. Yeah. But yeah, there's always a little conundrum with, you know, how I phrase things. Oh, I've kind of split the yarn here. Do I fix it? No, I'll just pull it towards the back. There we go. Beep, beep. Um, Plenty of blankets. Yes, I do. I do. Which ones are already forgot? Color example loop blanket. Granny square blanket that's downstairs. Baby blanket and another baby blanket. And the souvenir blanket. Yeah, but the souvenir blanket doesn't count, in my opinion. Um. The souvenir blanket is not meant to be um, completed soon. Um, and I've named it the souvenir blanket because whenever I was in a yarn shop and I didn't know what to buy, I would buy one ball of Aaron Wade yarn. So that's like five millimeter needle to me 
because I knit loose. Uh, and I knew that if I just bought the same weight uh, and that I could just knit one blanket square with it and then in the end eventually join it into a blanket. <laughs> um, Gabriella is still working on the geo gradient from most knits. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And also working on the uh, Jewel Fountain 2023 and punching a design for the wall. Ooh, nice. You mean needle punching? Cool. Uh, what was it? Jewel Fountain. Is that like Fountain? Mittens, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so fun, isn't it? The... the oh, which one is it? Uh, I, I meant to say it's so fun that um, Scandinavian languages sometimes sound a lot like Dutch. Oh, cool. lost you all again. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> Hi, Ivona! How are you? Are you back in Sweden? Or have you been back a long time and I just lost track of the weeks? Um... I finally started the border for my blanket and oh, and part of me wants to uh, calculate how long it has taken me up until now to make this blanket. Part of me doesn't want to know, but since I timed myself during the live streams I, I I have a way of finding out Back in Sweden, yeah. Oh, came back, oh, two weeks ago, okay. Nice and cold, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think, I, I personally don't mind the cold too much. I know it's probably colder in Sweden than it is here, even though we're kind of at the same uh, the same latitude, I think. But it's colder here than in the Netherlands. But it means I get to wear more wool. <laughs> It is kind of difficult to see which stitch I skipped. <laughs> you can wear your knitted garments too, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm uh, I'm really looking forward to knitting another garment on my knitting machine. I posted my knitting machine video last week, so you might have seen it. Um, and I got some lovely comments, which was great. 
and um, I'm buying yarn for my mom. Uh, my parents and my brother are coming over in May, and my mom says she really wants to um, uh, make her own garment on the knitting machine then. So I'm going to buy some yarn for her. And in the meantime, I really want to kind of tweak the formula because I've only tried one sweater now and I want to modify it so that it fits me better and also so that I, I know what to do for my mom. And I'm seeing my mom next week because we're going to the Netherlands for Easter. We're gonna be <clears throat> we're gonna be staying in a um how do you say this? Like a rented apartment with my in-law family and then a couple days after I'm going to stay at my parents' house. We're taking Momo with us, our cat. And she'll be staying at my parents' house. So they will get to see her again, which is nice. But yeah, next week is a very short visit. Which feels a bit strange because it already feels like I'll have not enough time with them. And there are so many people that I won't have even have time to, to see. So that feels, yeah, it feels sad. But, yeah. That is part of us moving to Scotland. Okay, I'm doing knit two stitches and then skip one. This color is nice on the blanket, yeah. I wasn't completely, like, mm, how do you say this? I wasn't completely confident of my choice, but I think it looks nice too. Oh, <laughs> my shoulders just cracked. <laughs> uh, oh, and, Tomorrow is Tim's birthday, my partner's birthday. Um, he'll be 33. And I'll have to be careful about what I say because he might be watching. He can be sneaky like that. Gabriella says, be right back. Okay. See you later. quite nice it kind of it kind of feels like very flat like very bland here but that's I think mainly because this is a kind of greenish blue color and this is green and blue <laughs> um, yeah so Tim's birthday today 
And uh, in our family, uh, we have a tradition to celebrate the birthday, uh, to start celebrating the evening before. And that is mainly because uh, my dad had to leave for work very early in the morning. Um, you know, before, before he had that job, we would celebrate in the morning. We would have breakfast together. I would have balloons tied to my breakfast chair. Uh, and yeah, we would just have a really nice breakfast. Uh, but um, ever since he had to leave very early for work uh, and he couldn't be there at the start of the day, we um, we changed it to, you know, begin the celebrations the evening before. Um, and we would always, <laughs> um, we would have this little song. <laughs> and it's, it's in my local dialect, so in Limburgs. And it's, 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 it's not, it doesn't even rhyme. Uh, it's, it's just one sentence, but I would be in the living room and then I would hear some sneaky footsteps in the hallway and my dad would come in, you know, my, my mom and my dad, and <laughs> you would see the sneaky look on his face like, hee hee, I know it's in your present. <laughs> and he would say, "Von oven is to oven, and there I get is to die, <laughs> which means, Tonight is the night, and tomorrow is the day. Um, and, uh, and then I would get my presents. And so this wasn't a tradition in my boyfriend's family, but uh, my boyfriend is very impatient. So he loved the fact that he would get his presents, uh, you know, earlier than he normally would. So he's totally on board with it. And now we've kind of infected <laughs> his side of the family as well. With the tonight is the night and tomorrow is the day. <laughs> so yeah. So I'm... We're celebrating or we're starting to celebrate tonight. I have some presents. We have some cake. I have some decorations to hang up. Yeah. Okay, that's almost one square done. Natasha has just finished her blanket. I cannot get another row out of the leftover yarn. Yep, you're done. Confetti. <laughs> Wee! Finished project alert. 
I should have a button here with like confetti every time someone in the chat finishes a project. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Sometimes I watch like other uh, live streams and I like have this sound effect like, I don't know, some some horn blowing or like a sound effect and uh, like every time they get a subscriber and I've always thought I should have that whenever someone finishes a project. <laughs> Okay, done quite a bit, but still, <laughs> if it's, uh, I hope it's not gonna take me an hour every time I do a square. <laughs> Yay. Um, oh, the blanket is for a teacher. Oh, um, you have to wash it tomorrow, and the teacher has her last day on Thursday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I still have to, um, the blanket right here. I still have to film the very last part of the tutorial and then I need to wash it very quickly. Uh, 
but because I need to take it on the boat on a Friday. So we're taking the ferry on Friday from Newcastle to Eimeide. Actually, I really like the ferry, so um, I prefer it so much over flying. Flying is so stressful and you can only bring a little bit of luggage, so yeah. That's so nice that you're making it for, um, is it your daughter's teacher? That's so nice. don't want to wear my headphones for a bit. Because <sighs> I just washed my hair this morning and it's still like a bit, a bit wet. So it doesn't go well with the headphones. Um, to check if I'm doing this in the same way. I think I'm picking up more stitches this way. How many ways are there to pick up stitches here? So here, this is the same kind of, uh, this is also the top of the blanket and I'm picking up, you can just see like one loop there. It's easier to see in the blue. You can just see one loop, right? And on here, There's more. Can't really see that. So there's this loop and then that loop, see? <gasps> so many different ways. Okay, I think I better, better do it like the sample. Also, these feel like they're a little bit looser. These. Um, oh, it's not your daughter's teacher. She was a teacher of my eldest daughter, and she'll be my youngest daughter's teacher next school year. Oh, okay. Okay, 
Okay, so what do I do? I then pick up just this loop. Okay. Hi, Capriella. Oh, and bye, Anik. See you next time. Yeah, so I do hope to be live streaming on Thursday. It'll be a busy day. But I think I'll... I think I can make time for live streaming. Especially because, um, you know, next week I can't. Uh, since I'm with my family. 
So next week I'll be taking a break uh, from live streaming. Hey, Cassandra, thank you for joining. Uh, the light blue was a good choice for the border. Thank you so much. Yeah, I was still, I was still having some doubts <laughs> um, because I think the, I was doubting between the light blue that I'm using now and the medium blue, which I just think they both would have been great options. Um, but out of, you know, just looking at these colors, I like this one the most. So, so I figured it would be more enjoyable for me to know what that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it is difficult when you have a project which has literally all of the available colors in the yarn range. Um, yeah, it's kind of difficult to to then find a good match but I think I think this one is a good one to square number three. <laughs> um, so we have one. We, we really just started here um, at the beginning of this live stream. So one, two, and now we are doing a three. Um, 
it has been an hour and a half, but I like to think that I'm not working as quickly as I normally would with all the technology checking, technology checking and chatting and yeah. But also, I don't have any distractions right now from my phone or anything, so. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, it's hard to find a color that complements a blanket with every color in it. Yes, exactly. Um, uh, is that an English thing? You've, you've nailed it right on the head. <laughs> um, maybe not, but I think you know what I mean. Um, Yeah, my hair is doing kind of a crazy thing. I've, I've blow dried it in one direction and then maybe... <laughs> yeah. It's kind of sticking up. Maybe I should just... <laughs> I don't know. I'll fix it after. So I really am on a blanket knitting spree this year with two baby blankets. One is, you know, kind of finished. Uh, the other one is like 30% done. Oh, and this huge blanket. Oh yeah, I mentioned something about calculating how long it took for to knit this. Do we still have this photo? We do. Um, so this was the blanket part way through assembly. And let's see. Do I have a notepad? So we have 80 squares and each square, I could do one square in a continuous setting for two hours. Usually took me a bit longer. No, 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 it didn't take me longer, but I just mean I didn't knit them all, you know, after each other. So two hours. <laughs> is 160 hours for just the uh, the squares and then for the seaming for the horizontal seaming I did I was able to do it in five minutes but then with chatting I usually did it in ten minutes so let's say eight minutes. Um, and that's for every horizontal seam. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then times 10. 70 horizontal seams. 
for the vertical seas. I don't even don't really remember how fast that was. But we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then times nine. I think. Because we have one. Seventy two seems that way. But how long did I take? I feel like it was about the same time. So let's also say eight minutes. Mm. How do I calculate minutes? I divide the number by 60, right? Yeah, so 70 142 seams times 8 minutes divided by 60 is 18.9 hours. So let's say 19 hours. Oh god. So we've already spent 179 hours on this blanket. And now I am doing the border which will take me another, uh, I don't know, 30 hours or so. Yup. <laughs> um, I've knit around one hour so far, so I'm 180 hours into the game right now. Yeah, so, might be the craziest project I ever did. Maybe I should uh, warn people before they buy the pattern. Warning, this project is over 200 hours long.
Okay, I have to say, for the amount of, uh, how do you say, for how I was not looking forward to this, <laughs> uh, like for the level of <laughs> discomfort I had, you know, looking forward to the border, <laughs> it is actually not that bad. It is really not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, it may be a slow process, but uh, yeah, I think I'm more okay with slow processes than I thought it would be. Maybe it's because I'm knitting a fully cabled blanket, which takes a lot of patience. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm taking more walks outside, which um, a couple years ago wouldn't have really appealed to me because I always felt in need, uh, the need to be super productive. So yeah, maybe it's a mix of that. Or maybe it's just uh, finding a rhythm in knitting this. Because, yeah, it's really not that bad. I say this when I'm like an hour into it. Uh, I might say something very differently when I'm 30 hours into this. But we will see. These may be my famous last words. It's really not that bad. <laughs> um, yeah, I do have to think about which project to take on my trip with me. Will I take this? I think I'll be taking the honeycomb baby blanket that I'm making for sure, because that one has more priority. I also have a couple of designs that I'm working on that have more priority, so I might take those.
And whenever I'm coming to this kind of, um, well, whenever I'm going to another square, I try to pick up a strand from both and then just knit that together. I think that works really nice. You don't really notice it if you uh, don't do that. Um, I have that somewhere. Where did I not do that? I said that. I know I did it somewhere and you don't really notice it. But yeah. Oh, it's 2 p.m. already. Um, I was a couple minutes late to the stream, so I'll stay for a few minutes more. Yeah, I'm on my fourth square now, and uh, the blanket is 10 squares wide. So we're even almost halfway, so that's good. So for the rest of the day, I'll be working on the uh, tutorial video for the other baby blanket that I did, which is the striped kind of beachy blanket. I'll show you in case you haven't seen it. I just stuck the needles in there so that I don't forget which size I used. Um, I'm not losing these needles now. <laughs> um, so this blanket. It's very squishy. And I want to film how I passed off this blanket so I put it on a lifeline here so that I can rip back to the point where I need to do the video so I'm planning to film that this afternoon and I have some decorating to do because we have a birthday celebration Oh, and I need to get, I need to, uh, to hang some decorations before my partner comes home. And again, I'm not, uh, spoiling any secrets on stream because he might be watching. Sneaky. <laughs> yeah, he's always very sneaky about that. Um...
yeah but this has been this has been really really fun um i need some extra motivation while working on this border and being here with you just really gives me that extra motivation that i need so thank you all so much for being here with me today um i hope that in turn it also gives you some motivation to work on your project projects um yeah so thank you all so so much switching back to this camera i really need to fix my hair too <laughs> something is happening <laughs> um yeah so i will be back on thursday i'll be back uh, at 10 a.m so two hours earlier than my tuesday streams and who knows i might only be here for an hour because it'll be a busy day with packing and making sure we have everything making sure we packed everything for momo and etc etc but yeah, I do hope to be there. Um, so again, thank you all so, so much for being here with me today. And I hope you enjoyed it as well. And I hope to see you next time. <laughs> Have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.